what exactly does utility mean so what happens when you consume something what is the immediate need that you have from consumption why do human beings consume all these questions have one single answer we all consume because we all look for satisfaction but is there a way to understand satisfaction better yes there is a way and that way is that you first of all understand what exactly does utility mean utility is nothing but the want satisfaction part of a commodity so what exactly does want satisfaction mean suppose you are very hungry and you need to have something and you go out and have a burger now that burger gives you want satisfaction and therefore burger has utility to you but is it really possible to measure utility practically no but in economics yes so in economics we will be measuring utility in utils so the unit of measuring utility is utils so you measure utility in utils so therefore when i eat a burger and i get want satisfaction i can give it an imaginary number which will be always in the form of utils so let us say when i consume one burger then i get 5 utils simple as that so that is basically giving a denomination to your satisfaction moving ahead utility concept talks about total utility and marginal utility what does total utility and marginal utility mean this would be better understood with the help of a very important relationship which is known as the relationship between total utility and marginal utility so what is total utility total utility is the sum of all the marginal utility that you get so let us say you go out and you are required to have 6 units of burger we are considering that you are very very hungry and therefore you need to have 6 burgers but the important question here is will all these burgers give you the same level of satisfaction perhaps no so let us understand what exactly will happen so when you are having no burger means that you are having no utility therefore zero units consumed means zero total utility and zero marginal utility what would happen when you consume the very first unit of the burger let us say you get maybe 10 utils and what would be your marginal utility it would also be 10 because marginal utility is the additional utility that you get by consuming a additional unit by consuming the second burger would you be getting the same utility perhaps no not just perhaps no you won't be getting the same utility i mean imagine yourself eating the first burger you're very very hungry the kind of satisfaction that the first burger will give will not be the same as when you will consume the second burger so maybe by consuming the second burger you get additional 8 utils now what happens here is that when you are getting 8 utils from your second unit of consumption the marginal utility adds up and total utility becomes 18 or in another words we can say that the total utility derived by consuming the initial two units gives us 18 utils of satisfaction in totality wherein from the second unit we are only getting eight utils so this is pretty much what happens when you consume certain commodities now let us understand this a better th- this in a better way so what exactly would be the formula to calculate total utility total utility would be nothing but sum of marginal utility and to calculate marginal utility you'll be required to calculate slope of total utility which is nothing but change in total utility by change in quantity consumed and there is another simpler formula for the same 
purpose which is tun minus tun minus 1. So let's take an illustration where we can understand this better. So from as you already by now understand that by first or by, so by not consuming anything you can't get any utility but when you would be consuming the very fast unit you'll be getting some utility. So this would be let us say 8 in this case. What is your marginal utility here? It would of course again be 8. Now by consuming the second unit let's say you get 6 by third you get 4 then you get 2 then you get nothing and then you get minus 2. Would it work or would it not work? Well, let us see why this is happening. Why is marginal utility declining? It is not moving proportionately. It is moving downwards. It's becoming from 8 to 6, 6 to 4, 4 to 2, then to ne 0 and then to negative. Why is this behavior operating? By adding up the marginal utility, you'll get the total utility. But the important question still remains, why is marginal utility declining? It is because of a very simple natural phenomena. When you start consuming something for the very first time, the kind of consumption you do, the satisfaction derived, is much more than the consecutive units. Go back to your previous experience when you had something for the very first time the very first time that you were given your bicycle on the first day the kind of enthusiasm you had to drive it was different from the second day and from the third day if you're very hungry and you're given certain chocolates the first chocolate will definitely give you more satisfaction as compared to the second unit therefore Marginal utility with every successive unit of consumption declines. And therefore we have a very interesting relationship between total utility and marginal utility. Now let's try and understand this a bit better. So what happens? How do they really react and how do they behave? So initially both of them start at the same level. But as we move on, what happens? So marginal utility continues to decline and then there comes a point where it becomes zero. At unit fifth, you're not getting any additional utility, which means that the utility which you derived from consuming the fourth unit is same as consuming the fifth unit. That means when you had your fourth burger and your fifth burger, the total utility remained unchanged. That means that you did not get any additional utility which you were getting from the previous units. So by consuming the fifth unit, you were not able to get any additional utility. And what happens here if you go on to continue the sixth unit? Now if you go on and continue to consume the sixth unit, the marginal utility is surely going to become negative. Because now you don't need to consume this anymore. And still, if you do so, your total utility will decline. So over here we see a very interesting relationship between total utility and marginal utility. As long as marginal utility is falling but is remaining positive, your total utility is increasing. See for it yourself. But when your marginal utility becomes zero, your total utility seems to become constant. And when your marginal utility becomes negative, your total utility actually declines. Now, do not think that we are doing this and it is a very difficult thing for us to understand. No, it's not. It's very easy. It is pure numbers. It is pure consumer behavior. It is pure your response. Purely your response it is. Now let's move ahead and understand this better with the help of a diagram. So what happens? As I said, as long as marginal utility is declining but is remaining positive, your total utility is increasing 
what happens when your marginal utility becomes zero your total utility becomes maximum and when your marginal utility finally becomes negative your total utility starts declining so this is pretty much the relationship between total utility and marginal utility now to check your understanding here is a quiz for you i'm going to count till 10 and see if you're able to get answers to these three questions one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so before we answer the questions i hope you are aware of the relationship and you know that tu and mu have got a very important relationship so when marginal utility is falling, what is positive for the utility increases. When marginal utility becomes zero, total utility is maximum. When marginal utility is negative, total utility falls. Now, if you know this relationship, you will definitely know the answer to this question. So total utility is maximum when marginal utility is nothing but zero. Marginal utility is negative when TU starts falling. Rate of change in total utility is nothing but marginal utility. Why do we say so? It's because of the formula that we talked about. Change in total utility by change in quantity is nothing but the formula of marginal utility. And even if you look in terms of geography, in terms of geographical representation here, then you would find that marginal utility operates in the similar way. So, marginal utility is nothing but the slope of T curve. This was the relationship between total utility and marginal utility. Now, for law of diminishing marginal utility, the law basically is based upon the same relationship, but has certain assumptions. To understand that, we would request you to watch our next video which talks about law of diminishing marginal utility separately. Thank you.